All right, guys, Eric Rivera here, Fitness Phenom. I'm gonna show you guys four different exercises you should be doing if you wanna get started in your calisthenic journey. Whether you started already and wanna improve, or you're new to the game, you don't know exactly what to do, where to start, I'm gonna show you guys these different exercises and some progressions in regards to those exercises that you guys can do in order to get better, in order to get started in calisthenics. So, check it out. All right, guys. First movement you want to have, you want to introduce this to your training. Pretty straightforward, very common, is the pull-up, right? Most of you have seen what a pull-up is, where you grab onto the pull-up bar, you pull yourself up to the bar, and you come down to a dead hand, please stop, right? The primary movers, when you're pulling, and you're doing pull-ups, are your lats, your biceps, and your forearms, right? There's a bunch of different grips you guys can use if you have the benefit of using a ladder like this. So in the ladder, you have this out here, monkey bars, awesome, beautiful, because then you can work on different grips. You can work on narrow grip pull-ups, wider grip pull-ups. You can go super wide with those pull-ups, right? And then if you have a fat bar like so, then you can do fat bar pull-ups. Right, but you're gonna work more on those forms. Right? You also have chin ups, right? Which is palms facing. Right? That's gonna require more bicep than lats. So when you're doing chin ups, palms are gonna be facing you. Start at a dead hang, chin on the bar, come back down to that dead hang position. Now, if you don't have the strength to do any type of pulling movement in regards to the pull up, any of those variations, chin ups, etc come down here, I'm gonna show you the magic. Inverted rows, right? When you guys do inverted rows, you're working the same muscle groups as the pull-ups, right? Your lats, your biceps, your forms, your grip, etc. right? Unlike a pull-up, you're not at a dead hang position, you're not pulling up your entire body weight, but it's still a pulling movement. Right? Inverted rows, on a bar, you're gonna pull yourself up, touch the bar, and come back down to that dead hang position. That right here. Again, working those same muscle groups, right? So that first movement, pull ups, chin ups, etc. If you don't have that, work on inverted rows. So try that out. Four sets, 10 to 15 reps, get those repetitions in, right? Get stronger at pull ups. Also, if you haven't checked my pull-up video, check that out on how to get your first pull-up. All right, guys. Second movement you want to introduce into your routine. Dips, right? These are going to be done with parallel bars or dip bars, like so. Right? So for your dip, you're going to get on the dip bar. You're going to hop up, depending on how high the, the bars are. Ideally, you want to keep your feet together, so knees and feet together. However, when you dip down, your feet are going to touch the floor. So the, bar, uh, the, bar, the dip bar is low. Bend at the knee, right? You want to work full range of motion. So you want to go all the way down and then press back up. Just like so. Down and up. Now, the primary mover when we are dipping, your triceps, right? And your chest. So we're working chest and triceps with these dips. Now, if you don't have dips, you can work on negatives. Okay? The way you do that, you jump up. Then as best as you can, control the negative portion, the eccentric portion of the movement until you're all the way down. Be back on the floor, come back up, and then control that negative movement back down. Again, as slow as you can, get some reps, some negatives in if you don't have dips. If you do have dips, get those reps in, grow that chest, grow those triceps, and get stronger at those dips. Third movement you want to introduce into your calisthenics routine. Push-ups, simple enough. Let's take a look at our push-ups. So, what's good about push-ups, you can do them anywhere. All you need is floor space. The way you set up for a push-up, you wanna stack your joints. So when you set up on the floor, your wrist is under your elbow. Your elbows are under your shoulders, creating that nice straight line. So stack your joints, you're gonna keep those feet together. Stay nice and tight, create that straight line, make sure you're not piping up, make sure those hips are not coming down here, so we're here. 
you always want to work that movement in full range of motion. Meaning you want your chest to touch the floor, and then when you press back up, you want to be locked out. So we're here, like that, chest to floor, press up. Full range of motion on those push-ups. Now, if you struggle with push-ups, as always, you can scale things down. Scaling option on your knees, make sure you're at an angle, right? So make sure your knees are, are not under your hips. You want to bring your hips over your knees here, like so. Same thing, full range of motion, and get your reps there. So if you have push-ups, awesome, work on those. If you don't have push-ups, you want to get stronger with those push-ups, scale it down to those push-ups on your knees. Now, these will also help with dips, right? So if you're struggling with dips, those same pushing muscles are going to get strengthened with the push-ups to, to uh, help with those dips. So again, that's your chest and those triceps. Right? So get your push-ups in, get your reps in. If you don't have it, scale down to your knees and get those reps in so you can improve those push-ups. Movement number four, right? lower body, squats. So we've been working on upper body a lot. Now we're gonna go and work the lower body. It's very important. These are your foundation, your legs. All right, so for your squats, feet ideally about uh, shoulder width apart, your toes slightly pointed out. You don't want your toes pointed forward. You don't want your toes pointed outward, right? You're gonna keep your head up, chest up. You're gonna sit back like if there's a chair or a bench behind you. So, as I sit back, I'm keeping my chest up. Full range of motion, what we call ass to grass, all the way down, as low as you can possibly go, and then stand back up. All the way down, back up. Front of you. Down and up, right? Everyone can do squats, right? It all depends on your level of mobility if you're struggling with those, right? Whether that's ankle mobility, hip mobility, etc. If you have those issues, that's something you're gonna have to work on. Otherwise, get your squats in, add them into your routine, right? So that's pull-ups as your first movement, dips, your second movement, push-ups, your third movement, of course, squats, your fourth movement. That's a full body workout in regards to all those movements. You're pulling, you're pushing, and you're working the legs. At the same time, all of those movements required midline stabilization. So you're also working your core without necessarily isolating your core. So there you have it, guys. Hope this is helpful for you guys. If so, like, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on the gram, fitnessphenom21. Show some love. And let me know what you guys think on the comments below.